Loop diuretics like medications called Lasix or furosemide are commonly used for patients who have heart failure exacerbations. These type of patients tend to have fluid in their lungs and usually present with shortness of breath. Now, loop diuretics like Lasix typically work in the loop of Henle, which is where they get their name from, and they work on what we call sodium potassium and chloride channels, where we block the reabsorption of water and basically have patients pee out more than they normally would. Besides the effect that it has on the nephron, Lasix and these loop diuretics also have pulmonary vasculature direct effects. So these patients will actually get venodilation of their pulmonary veins, which should reduce the amount of pulmonary vasculature congestion that they have. So basically by dilating the pulmonary veins, you're allowing more blood flow to go through the capillaries in the alveoli, which would decrease the amount of congestion that's there and likely lead to less uh, volume being deposited in the lungs. This effect of venodilation usually happens within 15 minutes of administration, so you may see signs of hypotension or even symptomatic improvement of their breathing although you may not see them actually start peeing out significant amount of fluid until about 30 minutes to an hour after administration. In terms of how long Lasix lasts for, the typical way that this is taught is that it's actually in the name itself, Lasix, so Lasix will last six hours. In the acute setting, we typically give this medication as an IV, but if we're going to transition someone to leaving the ICU or if they're taking it at home, they take this medication by mouth and the conversion rate for dosing of PO, which is by mouth or IV, is gonna be two to one. So if they take 40 milligrams by mouth, that would be a conversion of 20 milligrams IV. The most common side effects that you'll see with this medication are going to be uh, low potassium or hypokalemia, and that's because potassium is one of the electrolytes that gets lost in urine as patients are starting to increase their uh, peeing frequency. And the other really serious one that you can get, which typically comes with really high doses, is autotoxicity. So high doses of Lasix, typically if you're administering it as like a Lasix drip, can lead to potentially irreversible hearing loss for these patients.